All right, welcome back. So here's how I handle welding. Uh, so I did the front already. I'm going to maybe redo it a little bit, fill in some of those holes, um, change up my technique a little bit from that to do the back end here. So did a complete grind off all the slag inside and outside. So for inside, I use die grinder with some one inch flap wheels. They're pretty universal. Uh, coarse grit, you don't need anything fine for now. And then outside grinding, I use my little 3 8 belt sander. And then sometimes just a die grinder with a sanding disc. Uh, you can buy a whole bunch of different belts, different levels of grit for the belt sander. So some fine stuff, some coarse stuff, depending on the finish you want. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up for welding now that we've cleaned up both ends here. Uh, we know that from the back edge to the front of where that hits the receiver there, that should be 1.75 inches. And I'm not sure what we're going to do in that crack there, either to weld it from the inside and grind it down or not weld it at all. Obviously, I can't get in there with the MIG, so... Uh, we'll figure something out on the way. No big deal. Give me a minute. We'll get this thing set up So we're all set up for welding. Just wanted to show the welder. I have it's nothing special just a Lincoln 140 um, standard 7525 uh, Argon CO2 mixed tank and then we have it up on the bench here we'll Get a little bit closer in a second so you can see the real setup here so I don't want to get too close to the camera because uh, I am welding, so I don't know what that'll do, but you see I got my calipers here set for 1.75 and from there to there is pretty much exactly 1.75. And on the very top, you have the slot here and then a line in the receiver. At least I do. They didn't torch that up. Um, all I'm doing is lining that up with the front or the rear sight here. So if I just look down it, Line everything up. Pretty good. Nothing special there. And we're going to go ahead and start tacking this thing through. So we're ready to start tacking it in place. Just using a standard MIG. Uh, I use a .025 wire for pretty much everything I do. Um, standard MIG wire. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. Let's start welding here. Um, everything is clean. We degreased all the edges as well with acetone. So, see what happens here. I typically just let that cool for a bit and keep going with more. That big one cool for several minutes here so it's cool to touch. Back to it here. Up. We'll weld a little bit down here. Still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet. Uh, I'll probably just get as close as I can to that strap and then weld the rest from the inside. If I can even reach it.
strap there. I don't think that's big of a problem. We'll just cut it off. Got as close as I could though. I'm gonna let this cool down for a bit. This one, nothing special here, same deal. Keep welding. Last lead back to the top, go in that last little hole. That's that for welding. I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing cool way down. And uh, we'll be back to grind. So we're going to go ahead and get grinding here. Got my 3 ace belt sander with a pretty coarse grit um, belt on it. And uh, use that to grind down most of the way down. Um, and try to get the contour in this little area here that actually flexes. I only have this underneath of it uh, because I am going to be pushing down. And I don't want that to move in the vise. So... Air's a little cold coming out, and let's get started grinding.
All right, so we're all done here with the back weld. And there's the finished result. I'm not even gonna bother fixing all that because that's below the stock line. And you might ask, hey, what's all this about? Well, I ended up cutting that off and welding on uh, the tube underneath of it and then welding it back on, but I don't care how those welds look because they're gonna be hidden. Um, but there's that, nice and nice. There's my denial pin in there in the front. Still got some spot cleanup to do up here. But I actually ended up refinishing the stock a bit, leaving all the character, putting some nice oil on it. And I use a uh, Minwax antique oil. There's a good thread on the high road of how to use that antique oil. And I think it all turns out great. But, that in. There's that. Everything lines up great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'll start working on these uh, front wells next. But that's it for tonight. Now we gotta pound this thing out. So, anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.